All right, guys, it's Andy Elliott. This video is for my salespeople who are thinking about getting promoted. If you want to watch this full video, it's going to make you think twice. Check it out. Let's go. It's time to be the goat. It's time to enter God mode, man. Let's get it going. I want to be the greatest energy is overflowing. All right, guys, Andy Elliott, I want to talk to you about promotion. Now, I want you to do me a favor. Grab pen, grab piece of paper. I want you to write this down, okay? Most of the time, most, underline most, because this doesn't go for every time. Most of the time, a promotion is a demotion. I need you to understand this, okay? So here I am, I'm gonna go back to when I sold cars and I'm younger. I'm 21 years old, I'm making about 500 grand a year selling cars. All right, there's about 30 other salespeople. The top sales guy out of all of them made about 100 grand a year. Most of them made around 50. I'm making 500 grand. My manager, if you're good in sales, you should be out earning your managers and your general managers if you're that good. You should be. But I'm earning around 500 grand a year. I'm crushing it. I'm killing it. And my boss comes to me and goes, hey, Andy, we want to promote you into management. Now, I said, all right, cool, man. I said, Quick question, what do you earn? It's not all about money, okay? Listen to me. It's a demotion in money when you decide to go up. Most of the time, most of the time, why? Do you think you're gonna go and get the big daddy position when you promote out of sales into leadership? No, dude, there's like five other leaders and you've gotta become number five and work your way to number one to get paid all the dough, which means you go from being big daddy, everybody admires you, everybody looks up to you, to now you're the guy on the low totem pole who has to work his way up. It's very humbling. I did it, but I need you to think twice, okay? Right now, if you're a sales pro, I don't know what you're earning, but if you go to a promotion, there's more than likely going to be an opportunity for you where not only are you in charge of yourself, but now you're in charge of 20 or 30 people or even more. Now, listen to me. Money made, money paid. Write this down. Money made, money paid, just like you make your commission in sales. Except for now, instead of making 30% commission, example, okay, or 20% commission example on the sales you're doing, now you're making like one or 2% on the entire sales floor. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Now listen, getting 25 to 30 people to all perform at their highest level like you, my question is, why aren't they doing it now? Well, they're not doing it now because they don't have the work ethic, they don't have the drive, maybe they don't have a good leader, they have false self-limiting beliefs. So my question with you is if you're thinking about moving up, if you're not already a leader, listen, I need to explain this to you. Please do not miss this. If you're not already a leader, which means you don't just get walked up to and go, hey, Andy, you're a great sales guy. I want to promote you. Everybody does that. But if you're not already the leader, which means to be a leader means you're already self-leading. You're already having sales meetings. I'm a salesman having sales meetings with the rest of the team. They already all buy into me. They already all love me. And I'm not that leader. Dude, what makes you think all of a sudden you're going to be in charge and then all these people are going to change and start making a lot of money. The second you get promoted, they've been working on the same level with you for so long, everybody's going to look at you and go, dude, I don't have to answer to that guy because they still see you as a salesperson. Most people don't think about this. They're like, oh man, I get the title. I'm moving up. Dude, the first thing that they do is they resent you that you moved up. And also when you tell them what to do, they don't want to listen to you because they didn't like you when you're on the sales floor if you weren't already playing that role as a leader. Now, if you have and you move up, I need you to understand this. More than likely, you're going to have to work your way up the ranks, which means, listen, 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 you're probably going to take a pay cut right out the gate, okay? I was making about five or 600 grand a year. When I went into management, I went back to 250 grand a year. Most managers make 100 grand a year, okay? And salespeople can make way more than that. But I see people title chase, write that down, title chase. Call me the janitor, just show me the money. I can be a leader to my entire company and my entire team without a title. I wanna ask you, why do you wanna move up into management? 
Is it because you truly love your team so much and there's so much that you have to teach them that you honestly, you want to teach these students this new way, this way that you did it? You wanna really build a culture in which the company's never seen and you wanna work your way to that number one spot. You obviously want them to be important now. Show them how much you love them. Is that why you wanna do it? Or are you doing it because you want the title? I need you to understand this. A lot of people want the title, but what happens is, the bank account tells you that, hey, you made a bad move, but your ego says you made a good move, okay? Guess what happens? People, people don't make it and they quit. Now, when they back out of management, they were doing so good in sales, they went to management, they fell as a leader in management, they get paid less than they thought they were gonna pay, now they're pissed off. Listen, owners, that that leader now that went from sales to leadership, he was embarrassed in front of all his, his peers, his people. Now he won't go back to sales for you. They immediately quit and go work somewhere else to save the embarrassment. I see this happen all the time. Companies ruin great salespeople by hiring them into management. They end up making less money, getting more stress, working longer hours, and they're not in it for the right reasons. So six months later, they literally want to go back to sales, but now they're embarrassed or now they have this tainted, like walk of shame on them that I failed, that they end up quitting and going and work for your competition just to save face. Guys, so uh, a promotion, what is that? Well, to me, a promotion is if you truly want to be a leader. That means that you are sacrificing your own check for the checks of others. Your goal is to get them all to, to raise up their value, to earn more money, to become better skilled, to create a better culture. And you know when you do that, you know what that will pay you. Okay? But if you're doing it because you're like, oh man, I'm a manager. I get to go shake everybody's hand at the birthday party now and tell them that I'm the manager or I'm the general manager, even better. Or I'm, a, I'm the vice president. Dude, who cares? We don't care. Dude, when I sold cars, I sold cars. I was a general manager. I would walk into a party. People say, hey, what do you do? Sell cars? Dude, I was a car salesman. Loved it. Look at my Ferrari, sucker. Okay? I didn't care what, I had one when I was a salesman. Didn't matter. Titles don't mean nothing. So I need you to do me a favor, okay? Don't be a title chaser. If you want to be a leader and you want to move up, I need you to understand this. You're going to have to have a demotion. You're going to make less money in the beginning. Everybody thinks, well, well I'm the manager. I should get paid more now. You're lost. That's not how sales works. Now, when you build the right culture and you build everybody's skill up, whereas they're as good as you were when you were on the floor, well, then yeah, you probably could make the same or more money. But everybody has to produce in order for you to get that check. See, right now, if you're a salesperson, when you walk into the company, as long as you produce, you get paid well. When you're in leadership, you have to come in and everybody has to produce or you don't get paid. So I just wanna let you guys know that I love you. I got your back for life. Anything you ever need, my goal is to give you a new perspective, some new eyes to look at things. So when an opportunity comes up, you really know what you're looking for. By the way, if you wanna get into leadership or if you have questions, right? Hey, shoot me a text, okay? I've got you guys back for life. I love you guys. I'm happy to help with anything. I always use my heart in every one of my, my answers. You can comment below. Share this video with somebody you know that's in management or going into it just so they understand how this works. I think people have the wrong perception of sometimes getting promoted. So text me 918-210-0254, guys. 918-210-0254. Let's go. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.